Hey everybody, welcome back to Miner Saven. I'm sorry I couldn't get the big video project I've been working out today. Uh, it's probably gonna come out within a day or so. Um, once again, I'm, I'm really sorry. I This is kind of a video stalling that. It's been a big project I've been working on and it's a series of videos too. So once again, apologies. Let's get into this one though. All right, so I figured today for New Year's, Happy New Year's by the way, we could get a video out for an updated 2022 guide. Just get right on to it, you know? Why not? <laughs> Nothing is stopping us. Uh, I think it's kind of reasonable. Honestly, if you're new to the game, the tutorial will kind of help you out. If you want to do it, you can. Um, however, you don't need to. So we're going to go ahead and actually end the tutorial. We are going to go to our settings by pressing C, withdraw all. Nice. Now everything is in your inventory. We're going to go over here. Doesn't matter which side, just go to a corner. Preferably a right corner than a left corner. So this would be a left, this would be a right. We're going to go right. Place this right about here. Buy another one of these. 50 bucks. Place two conveyors. And then one of these. Now you can place this over on the side. You're going to buy four more. Oh, bought a fifth on accident. It's all right. Now this is going to make passive money uh, while we set up a much bigger system over here on the right. But yeah, this, this video is going to cover pretty much everything regarding um, RP farming, uh, like late life one stuff all of it pretty much so then you kind of get the gist of the the game by the end of this sorry i completely choked that sentence all right once you have about two and a half thousand you're gonna go ahead and buy one of these and you're gonna wait for another two and a half thousand and buy another one all right now what we'll do so we're gonna move this off to the side we don't need this right now two tiles away we're gonna place one of these Turn it around facing that way and place another. We're going to put a conveyor right here going towards that. Two going towards it from there. Two going down and one to the left. Then you're going to place a furnace right here. Don't fill up the ore limit completely with this. Um, you don't want it to go too high up because uh it will cause lag for other people if you're in a public server which is probably likely assuming that you're a new player so please um yeah try not to keep it too high all right once you think you have a reasonable amount of ores you could go ahead and just stop the ore flow just by doing this now ores can't get in um and then after they loop for quite a while this one right here you're gonna click it Press R twice and place it back down. You have to be fast, though. Oh. Shit, I messed it. There we go. It's kind of hard to do, so got to be quick. And then you can make it go back there. And we're going to get more ores in. And we're going to keep doing this until we get about 250k. So it's a pretty quick way to get really, really fast cash. Um, it's just getting that conveyor to work could be bit of a pain at times all right we're gonna do this again there we go awesome we'll do it once more all right there we go that's a lot all right now once that's done you could just leave this like that some ores will be stuck you could get rid of those just by doing this Um, all right, let's see what we should do next. Oh, yeah, probably the RP farm. Okay, so in order to get RP farm uh, working and enough for basically everything uh, that we're going to need in this video, we're just going to get this out of the way early. Uh, in order to do that, what you'll want to do is you're going to want to get the Proficient uh, Research Center, and you're going to go ahead and buy a ton of silver mines. Doesn't matter how many, I'm just going to get the max, which is 99, because I won't run out. 
Uh, you're going to want to also get two or purifier machines. Just two. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to let this kind of just do its thing for a while. This is going to take up a bit of time. It could take anywhere from... It's probably going to take about 10, 20 minutes. Uh, but we're going to teach you how to speed it up as well. Um, what you'll do is you're going to get some conveyors. Uh, I'd say I'd say some of these would be nice. How many could I get? That's That's the question. Okay, 33 of these. That might actually just be flat out enough. That's more than enough. Awesome. Now we have extras. Okay. You're just going to start placing um, the silver mines along this. And now once enough ores worth over $20 go through, um, you will get the ability to farm RP. As you can see at the top now. Now there is a faster way to get to what we need, which is about 50,000 RP. It will take a while, like I said, but there are ways to do it. So first off, you could just uh, have a friend with a like a speed infuser uh, join your game and let you borrow his infuser and you could go really fast and start collecting crates like this one. Uh, each one gives you anywhere from 400 to like 10,000 depending on which crate. These ones often give about 400, uh, which diamond crates, which are these giant blue crates, they'll give you about five to 10,000 if I'm correct. I might be wrong. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure those are the numbers. Yeah, see, rare tier items unlocked. So basically by doing this, you're unlocking items in the shop for yourself. This, as I said, it will take quite a while, so you have to be patient, but it's best to just get it out of the way now, so then while you're trying to make a setup, you don't have to RP farm. So at the end of the day, your life's just going to be a lot easier. But we're going to go ahead and just um, do this for a little bit, and I will see you once we're back. Once again, you could speed this up a lot just by getting friends with um, infusers and stuff to join you. Yeah, see, gold crates, they should give about a thousand. Yeah, 1.2 thousand, so quite a bit. And we got some of these nearby, that's awesome. Getting some friends in the VIP so we could get uh, infusers. Let's make this a little bit easier, even for myself. <laughs> Alright, it seems we're about halfway there now, so... Uh, should only be a couple more minutes of this. Also, uh, I think the last time I did one of these with uh, like a low light video with wings, um, a lot of people were asking me how to get it. You could ask a friend to join that has something called the Champion Infuser. Basically, it takes the power of all the other infusers on the base and connects it into one, and you also get wings to fly. This this is definitely the preference if you're going to do the, the crate farming method for RP. Um, just letting you know that no, this isn't like a cheat or anything, which a lot of people were saying it was. Just wanted to like let you know this time that that's pretty much what it is. All right, we hit 50k. That took probably about 15 to uh 15 or 20 minutes so really not too bad but wish it was a little bit uh easier once again you'll probably speed your time up by a large chunk if you uh just do the crate method just uh just a heads up all right now that we've got all of the rp stuff out of the way and we could get enough to rebirth in the long run we're gonna go ahead and remove these and this you don't need this anymore and we're going to make our life a lot faster. Watch. We're going to get to a million pretty, pretty quickly. We're going to go ahead and get the gold excavator. Then what we'll do next is we're just going to click this for a little while. Not too much. Uh, but we want to do this until about 500k. Once you get to 500k, you could buy three or four of these. I'm going to buy those. Go ahead, put this towards the middle. Now this is where we're gonna be doing just mines and cells for a little while. Click this a bunch and look at your money just skyrocket. There you go. All right. Now we're gonna remove one of these, remove the cell furnace, go into the shop, buy a cell incinerator. And now we're just gonna be making tons and tons of money. Now what we'll do is the more and more and more money we get, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually just flat out 
start replicating this setup and place it all, all over the base. Like this. Just buy tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of these. Ping's kind of high right now. I might switch to a uh, solo server, actually. Alright, regardless, watch what happens when you click now. Making millions at a time. So we're just going to do this for a little while, probably until about a billion. Uh, if you want to put more of these, you can. Um, but it will max out your ore limit quite fast, just letting you know. And if you really, really need to, you could also adjust your ore limit. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and hop in a solo server probably because I think I'm having some ping issues in here. All right, now that uh, we're in a solo server, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to do this until we get to about a billion, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Shouldn't be too brutal. Um... But this is going to give us the opportunity to unlock some new stuff, so that'll be that'll be cool. All right, that really didn't take long. That took about 30, 45 seconds. wasn't really too uh, too bad. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy some stuff. We're going to get a setup going here in a minute soon. So first off, um, one of these will be useful, but it's going to take up a lot of your cash at the moment, so it's really not worth it. Our ultimate goal is to be able to buy a way up high upgrader, which is going to it's going to take some time, obviously. Uh, I mean, you technically could just do this until 8.7 billion. But if you uh, don't want to, you don't have to. Um, I think we're going to try making a setup that could make us billions. It's probably possible. I mean, hmm, let's, let's see here. We have a couple options. There's not much to loop with, though. Because how you want to make a setup is you want to have items you loop uh, in, a, like, in a loop uh, for a little while. Then once those items are maxed out and you can't use them anymore, you send them into items that use percentage-based upgrades and then multiplier-based upgrades. That will give you the highest cash possible, but there's not many items we could loop with. So I think what we'll do is... I mean, considering it took me about a minute and a half to get a billion, I think we could spend a couple minutes doing this probably um, until we get there. So I think I'm going to actually just do that. Uh, I will see you guys in a couple minutes. Actually, I think I know what we're going to do. So we're going to buy a cell incinerator, put it right over here, get a industrial diamond mine, and buy the maximum 99 coal mines. Now what we'll do, we'll place this right here, as far into the, the corner as we can. Just make sure that there's at least uh, two from this thing. So you want these four right here that I'm standing on. Start placing conveyors. There should be at least two tiles from the side of the base. And then we're going to just place a ton of these. I'm going to grab three. Pick all of them up and just start placing them in chunks like this. Now, basically, this is just going to work alongside us to help us get to uh, 8.7 billion, I think it was, or 7.8, I forgot. I'm going to double check. I think it was 8.7, yeah. Uh, this gets a lot really, really quickly. If you want, you could still speed it up, uh, where once you're at a billion, you could drop a billion and get the cell processor. This is probably what I'm going to do. Um... It is a pretty expensive thing to do, but it works. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hold on. You can just remove one of these, place this right here, and center it. There you go. We're getting 8 million per ore now. So you're just gonna get rapid 8 million. This will definitely speed you up, and then you could just click alongside it. So we're gonna do that. I'll see you at the, the milestone. All right. It seems that we've reached uh, the amount we wanted to reach. Now, there's a couple things we could do. 
Um, obviously, we need a really good furnace. We're just gonna go ahead first off, though, and buy this. But we need a really good furnace. I don't know what furnace we should use, though. That's, that's the thing, because... We'll either have to do more waiting for a Heavenly Forge or get something with a lower multiplier. And I think we're going to go the Heavenly Forge route. You're going to want to buy an Orb Magnifier. Pretty cheap compared to what you're getting right now. As well as a Converter Ramp, not the Conveyor Ramp. Let's get a Radioactive Refiner. We're going to buy 30 Portable Ore Advancers. Let's buy... Five plasma iron polishers. Uh, we could get an ore scanner. Or let's actually get two. And then let's... Uh, oh yeah, probably an ore pulsar as well. But we're going to get um, maximum possible military grade conveyors. Alright. Uh, we're almost at 9.45 already. So we're just going to wait and get the heavenly forge as our furnace. Is it's a very, very good furnace. Alright. Now, we're going to buy a blue or teleporter receiver. And a blue or teleporter sender as well. And then for the mine, uh, we could use... I think I'm going to just go with diamond mines. Uh, diamond mines are pretty good. They have a, a decent... You know, drop rate. I think they're probably just the best we could go with. Uh, we're gonna buy. We're gonna buy three. All right. Now you could withdraw all. Oh, if you really want to, you don't have to do this. It does not give you an upgrade. But if you want to know how things are going, see where the caps are on things. You get an ore tracker. They're about a billion, close to a billion. Um. All right. Let's get into making the setup. So, what we'll do. Let's place these, uh, one right here, here, and here. Place that one a little bit closer. Then our military grade conveyors. Place this down. You're going to buy another sender. Now we're going to place the receiver right behind it. And get the converter ramp. Get our way up high upgrader. Oh, I almost forgot. If you did buy the ore tracker, you could put it right here. Just make sure you don't get rid of it. Like if you uh, if you withdraw it or anything, then it breaks the, the tracker above the ores. Okay. We're going to get the, the, uh, the sender out. Actually, to make this a little bit easier to get ores out of it, we're going to go ahead and buy an ore gate really quick because those are also really cheap. So go ahead, move this three, place the ore gate and let the ores go through. All right. Uh, I would set your ore limit to probably probably about 75 again. You don't need very many ores. There we go. All right, we're just going to let the ore limit fill and then uh, while we do that, we're going to we're going to make the setup. So from three away, what we'll do is Oh crap, I forgot to put the uh, the magnifier in. Hold on. That that would definitely help. Yeah, you have to put this in right here because this needs to be the first upgrader uh, used, if I'm correct. So, But it is a times three, so you are going to get uh, a pretty big boost. Um, overall, it'll just speed this up by quite a lot, so that's all. Alright. What we could do is we're going to go right over here. You need to have at least three away from the side of the base, three tiles. And we're just going to start placing a ton of these. Probably about a full row. Um, I'm going to get these ready, though. So what we'll do is on the sides, you're just going to place five. And then you're going to place three sets of five on each side. All right. So not even a full row. Close, but not not completely. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless me. All right. So we could get... um. 
plasma iron polishers. That's what I was thinking. I'm going to place one right here. Let's get some conveyor ramps. Just buy a couple so then you don't really run out. Oh god, that's dark. Hold on. Alright, I got some lighting down. We're going to place a conveyor right here. Could place the rest of these. And then you'll want to place another ramp and a conveyor. Just like that. Alright, I think that the way up high is pretty much close to being done soon. Seems it. They're getting close. They're at very, very high millions, if you saw that. So we'll probably end up getting... My best guess is if everything goes according to plan, we should get uh, maybe a trillion from this. And if we do, that's awesome. Okay. Now, uh, we could place our furnace. And then we're just going to go ahead and send these. We really don't need to worry about maxing every single one. So you're gonna you're gonna stop the gate. Switch where it is, and then send them. And then you could put this back. Look at this. Watch, we're gonna get so much. Fifteen trillion. Awesome. Okay, so now we've got a new uh loop we could do. We're probably gonna go through the Freon Blast Upgrader route. Okay, so let's get... How many could we get? That's that's the question here. Um, Let's just go with six for now. It, it obviously depends on how much money you get. Um, the more, the better. But you also want to save some cash because you want to buy um, two Pay Night Mines. If you can only get one, that's that's okay. But that's that's the goal here. I'm going to place down my Painite Mine. I'm just going to let all these ores die really quick. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. Go ahead and go into the Machines tab once again and get a ton of nuclear conveyors. Doesn't matter how many. Oh, that's why it wasn't working. You're going to place three nuclear conveyors. And then two Freon Blast Upgraders. And then you're just going to copy-paste this for as many as you bought. Then, you're going to place an ore gate. Where's my ore gate? Here it is. You're going to open it. And then place your uh, blue sender. Also, you can now go in and actually buy a pink sender and receiver. So what we'll do is place this. So now then we don't have to keep switching it. However, we're going to place the pink one over here, and then we'll just hot swap them. Okay. As far as a furnace upgrade goes, I guess we could buy the Sacrificial Altar. Uh, we've got pretty much everything better that we need. We could upgrade our advanced ore scanners. Our, our normal ore scanners to advanced ore scanners. Don't see an issue with that. This item is okay, honestly. I don't really prefer using this in setups, really. This is really only good for loops, and this just isn't optimal anymore. Okay, yeah, I guess we're just gonna wait for this to finish. Oh, it's pretty much already done. Okay, I guess let's pause the gate, switch these, and send them through. And then you could switch them back. All right, I'll see you when the ore's going. All right. All right, now we're at quadrillions. That was quick. So, let's see uh, Let's see what we got here. Obviously, we could get more of these. I'm just going to buy, uh, let's say, 10. I'd say that's a fair amount. We can't yet get a, um, a better upgrader, it really seems. We kind of got to get more cash. So, it sucks, but... It's okay. Let's do, um, hmm. Let's get another advanced ore scanner, because it might be missing some of them. That could be a pretty big issue. 
and then I will get a second uh, painite mine like I wanted to. Furnaces, anything interesting in here to look out for? Not really. I mean, we could get electronic furnace. Yeah, why not? Okay. So, we'll move this. Also, you want to put this as your last upgrader because it could explode ores uh, if they don't go into a furnace too quick. So, you want to put that right before the furnace always. However, I'm going to put a conveyor through. Or no, there's no buttons on the side anymore. That's that's different. Yeah, you could put that there. Originally, um, on the sides right here, there were buttons and you had to click them, but it would interfere with hitboxes like this. So, But now I guess it's just a proximity prompt, so that's kind of nice, actually. All right. Uh, these are already done. Okay. Pause the gate, switch these. Let them through, switch it back. Make sure to click this while the ores go in uh, so that you get the, the full upgrade. It's a very, very large upgrade, by the way. There we go, that's what we were looking for. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some RNG involved, which kind of sucks, but nothing you could do. We're gonna get a couple Schrodinger evaluators. Okay, I could get four, so that's that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and move these pretty far away. Place these. God, I can't place for crap. Okay. Once again, once these are done, we're just going to send them through. Uh, I think we're just going to stick with this furnace because it, it's pretty much the highest one until quintillions. However, if we do get to uh, quintillions, um, this this will be it. Remember, you only need 25 quintillion to rebirth, so you are, if you're on this step of uh, the game right now, you're pretty close, so just letting you know. Alright, let's place this. Nice, now we got two going in. Okay, I'm going to make sure all of these are maxed out, because some of them are not. You could see some decimals and stuff. Alright, uh... Should be good enough in, in a minute here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Send the ores through. Reverse it. And now we should be getting uh, high quadrillions, or at least higher quadrillions. Oh. Almost forgot. We got enough, though. That was kind of like what I was hoping for. Although, yes, it's better to get higher. It's good enough. I always forget about that furnace. I'm, I'm so stupid for that. Uh, one more tile. Okay. So how many Schrodingers are we at now? I think eight. Yeah. Okay, now uh, we just kind of have to play the waiting game and hope we get enough cash. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we could do to upgrade the setup. It's kind of at its peak for a little while. The next thing we will do, however, is put the flaming ore scanners in, ion fields, and orbital upgraders. And then if we really need to, we could do portable macro waves, but this is probably the best we're going to get for a little while here. Hopefully this time I won't forget to click the, uh, <laughs> the furnace. Alright, I will see you when these are done and about to go in, so. Alright, they're going in. Only a couple ores will survive. There are the numbers we wanted. Okay. Just so you know, I keep getting comments on this to this day on my 2021 video. Please, if your ores are exploding in the Schrodingers, that's completely normal. That's a part of the mechanic. You could check the wikia um, in the description. I'll, I'll try to link the wikia if I forget. I'm sorry. But um, you could check the wikia, look up the item there's a chance that it'll explode. It's a good thing if the ore doesn't die. So there's like a 50% chance the ore will die from the explosion. Uh, but if I'm correct, the explosion gives a bigger upgrade. Um, I don't know if that's changed at all, but originally that's how it was, if I'm correct. So um, 
Explosions are more of a good thing if your ores are surviving the explosions. If not, then your ores are dying. But it is completely normal. It is a upgrader based around RNG. Um, this should be enough space. We're gonna go ahead and get the um we're gonna we're gonna get a couple things here. So Wow, we could afford a lot more. Uh let's get the two flaming ore scanners we wanted. Uh let's remove those. Put these here. And then um let's just put this off to the side right now. Okay. So, we'll put these right here. Then we're going to get another Freon Blast Upgrader. Actually, hmm, what do I want to do? Actually, let's, let's flip these. I'm sorry. Put these after. And then we're going to get a Centering Conveyor, because... If it doesn't hit the Freon, it's going to die from the fire. So where is the centering conveyor? I think it's worth billions. Might be wrong. Yeah, 77 billion. Okay. Now, we could get a couple other things. We could get our four ion fields and our three orbital upgraders. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a ramp right here. A couple military grade conveyors right here. You can place your ramp right there. Awesome, okay, so what we'll do now, we gotta gotta move all this stuff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get an ore cannon. They're really, really, really cheap. We're gonna place that, and then uh, on the side. Okay, this is going to be kind of confusing, but we've got to we got to make this work. Go over here, move the teleporter uh, thing, and then we're going to raise our ore limit up to about maybe 80-ish, not too high. Oh, ore limit is just not changing right now. I think that's because I have things going through. Should still be allowed to take ores if I'm correct, though, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. Or is going to drop? No, it's not dropping. Okay, that's an issue. So let's let's try to figure this out without. What I'm going to do is... I guess I'll just withdraw this. It's not going to change. Um, Give me a sec. Okay, thankfully it's day now, so that's nice. I'm just going to get rid of these because they're in the way. Um, Let's just place 10 military-grade conveyors right here. We will now place our ion field. I'd say probably right about here is a reasonable reasonable spot to do it. And then we will place our orbital upgraders. Yeah, it only took up nine. Then we can place our furnace back down. Where's that? Oh, it's right here. This should be safe enough. I'm like 99% sure it is. Oh, before you send your ores, get a wall segment. Where is it? It's right up here. Place a couple of them right around this corner, because it is a very, very tight corner uh, with the speed that the ores are going at, and they could fall off. Just letting you know. Let's swap these. This should be enough to rebirth. I'm really positive it is. Might even be more than enough to rebirth. Let's see. 
I'm like praying that this works right now. Okay, we got ores going through. Let's activate this. Yep, we did it. We rebirthed. All right, let's see what we get. All right, it took an hour and two minutes. Really not too bad compared to what I was expecting. Uh, we actually got a really, really good item too, so that's cool. All right, guys, once again, um, I hope this video helped. And Happy New Year's once more. I will see you when the new big video comes out soon, so see you soon. Thanks for watching.